Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Held Saxton Gore-Tex boots. These boots are for riders who want a pair of boots that will fit into everyday life and not make them look like they've just arrived fresh from their latest ride out. The uppers are made from full grain cowhide, which will mark with age and it'll enhance that vintage look that they've been designed to have right from the off. They're reinforced around the toes and the heels where there's also an extra layer of leather. There are fiberglass inserts on either side of the ankle to add some protection against knocks, although these boots aren't rated under CE to provide impact protection. That's an optional test under the CE standard and these boots haven't been put through it. There's an extra layer of leather acting as the gear change protector too. It's well positioned and the nature of the leather means you can easily see from this boot that it's in the right place. I've ridden about 150 miles in these boots on my Yamaha FZ1 Phaser and also on a Yamaha Tracer 9 GT and that's the amount of shifter residue that's been left on the boot. Personally, I quite like having those marks, but some people might find them off-putting if they're the sort of people who want to keep their boots looking smart over time. You could say buy the black versions if you want to avoid this look as black rubber on black leather is going to end up being equal, but there's one problem with that. At the moment, Held don't make a black version. These boots only come in brown as we record this video. So moving on to the sole, it's a reinforced Vibram sole. It's reassuringly stiff for protection, but it's also comfortable to walk around in. As part of this review, I spent a day working in the office and the warehouse here at Sports Bike Shop in these boots, and I found them comfortable for general wear as well as for riding. They're really easy to put on and fasten as well as they combine laces and a zip. Having this zip on the side means only having to tie the laces once and then forgetting about them as you can just use the zip to get in and out. Even with those laces tied very, very tightly, I was still able to get in and out of these boots really easily just by undoing the zip. The laces on these boots are quite slippery, so I'd suggest keeping them in a double knot to keep them tied up as having flappy laces around your foot pegs and your controls is definitely something you want to avoid. Moving to the inside, there's that Gore-Tex membrane that keeps rain out and is designed to stop your feet getting overly sweaty on the inside. I've not worn these boots personally in rain, but I've got enough experience of Gore-Tex over the years to trust that they would keep my feet dry. But what you always have to remember with a short boot like this, or any boot really, is that there needs to be an overlap between your trousers and your boots to stop water just running off the trousers and inside the boots, because there's not much that a boot can do to stop water coming through the hole at the top. In terms of breathability, I have worn these boots on some very, very hot days, and I have to say they were pretty good at stopping my feet from getting sweaty on the inside. The insoles to these boots are squishy and they're comfortable and they can also be removed. So if you want to replace them with something thicker to improve the fit or because these ones have lost a bit of spring over time, then it's really easy to do that. The final thing to check out with these boots is their performance in the CE safety tests. They passed the most recent CE test for boots, reaching the basic level one in all four tests. It's pretty clear just from looking at them that they're shorter boots that don't extend as far as the shin, which explains why they're level one in that aspect of the test. Level two is for full shin height boots. Then the Saxtons are level one in the three technical tests. So that's resistance to abrasions, to lateral crushing forces, and also to cuts. My experience of these boots is that they're comfortable for both riding and for everyday life. I was quite happy to wear them. There's always a compromise on protection for running a shorter boot like this, but really that's down to every individual rider to make their own decision on how much coverage and protection they want. So finally, let's talk about cost. These boots arrived in late summer 2021 with a recommended retail price of £254.99. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Held Saxton Gore-Tex boots. But if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.